we would like to introduce you to Jeanette Providence, who is the Teacher of the Year for 2008 for the Grant Joint Union High School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, congratulations, first of all, on being named Teacher of the Year. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, where you teach, what subjects you teach, that type of thing. I teach at Grant High School in a special program, a school within a school program called Q School. I teach English language arts um, 9 through 11 this year and creative writing with a media literacy focus. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit more about that. What does that entail? Q School is an alternative program to help students who need an intervention to help them to be successful in uh, the regular program, the comprehensive high school. So we have students who have attendance situations or they may have um, behavioral or academic. And our goal is to help them to gain skills that will help them to be successful in the main comprehensive high school and ultimately graduate with their class. And so it's a small program where we have about 100 and 120 students per semester. Our classes are a little bit smaller and then we interact closely with our colleagues and also with the parents and the students as well to try to help them address their issues and then also address the academic uh, requirements. The rigor has, is not watered down, it's the same type of rigor and so we just add a little personalized help to assist our students. So you work with uh, the student, the family, and other teachers as well to make sure everything is kind of connected? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, any challenges in that regard? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's the beauty of the program, is that we look at the challenges that our students are having them and try to help them gain skills to address whatever those issues are. And so uh, we have more contact with our parents. We uh, call them if the student is absent. We call them the day they're absent and interact and try to work with them as a team to see what are many times what's the backstory that may be causing what we're seeing with the students and then helping the students gain those academic skills that they need to accumulate the credits they need in order to graduate. So you're dealing with a real specific population of students and, and not as you know for lack of a better phrase your conventional student you're dealing with students who have their own individual challenges. Yes. Yes, and then they don't lack the intelligence. It's, the intelligence is not the issue. It's usually all these other issues that have gotten into the way of their academic progress. It must be very rewarding for you. Tell me about that. It is. Um, number one, you know that you're working with a group of students who have what it takes to make it. And so our goal is to help them see what they have within them and then helping them now put the pieces together to, um, to meet the needs that they have academically, but also build the life that they want to have. Have. And so we, um, we have our successes, we have our challenges. Sometimes we don't know if we uh, have made that impact, but many times because we're in the community, we'll see students later and they'll let us know that the, we have made a, a change or touched their lives in different forms and fashions. And so it's, uh, it's challenging and it's fun. We have a great staff that we work with and our principal, but our, also we have a vice principal, Mr. Henson, who is over our program and then all the teachers of the program and we work collaboratively as well with teachers on the main campus. So t tell me what it's like when you're working with those students who um, have had their challenges along the way in different classrooms who have felt like maybe ostracized or that they don't belong or that even that there's something wrong with them. Uh, what, is it, what does it look like to you when you see the look on their face when they, they've accomplished something or they, they finally come to the realization that, that they can't achieve? Um, it's rewarding because many times uh, the challenges, the, the clashing with the teacher is usually the result of something else. And so being able to see through that and then taking the time to find out what's going on behind all of this. And as we see, the, many times the challenges don't change and nor, nor do they uh, dissipate. But trying to help students to have, know that they have someone else in their corner that believes that they can make it. And then when you see a student blossoms, blossom, we had one student who went to the the, um, it's called the California Leadership Think Tank at USC this summer from our program who was not the traditional leader but he was selected because he had these natural innate leadership ability and, and went there and represented well. So giving them those opportunities to really show what is in them is just it's indescribable. It's indescribable to see them making those leaps and bounds over many of their obstacles or just moving forward. But my ultimate is when they graduate and walk across that stage. You know, We know what they had to go through to do that. And I say my job is to highlight their name and cry. So, <laughs> so I guess you do that pretty well. Yes, I do. <laughs> now, uh, when you're getting these students ready or, or focused on graduation, um, that in itself is a goal that a lot of these students may not have really thought about. 
they thought about it, but they felt, many of them felt like it, it was too late for them. And so we offer the hope, you know, yes, you still can do it. Um, and then if, let's say for instance, because their, their credit situation is so uh, deficient, we let them know that there are other options. You don't have to quit now or it, it's over for you. I, I tell them that their experience at that time is nothing but a bump in the road of their life. And it's their decision on how they're going to handle it. But whatever they want in their life, there is still ways to um, get it. A lot of them don't think college is possible for them. But many times, because they don't have the academic classes, they may have to go through the um, community college route. But there are ways. We've had students who own businesses. They have college degrees, families, and the like. So there is a way. So we offer them hope. But many times, they just feel like, you know, there's no way. And we have to say, way, there is a way. Well, what inspired you to get into teaching, this, especially this specific type of program? Um, I worked as an outreach consultant, um, which was dealing with trying to address the dropout issue in the state of California. And my principal, Mr. Brown, Larry Brown, was the one who asked me, had I ever thought about being a teacher? And I hadn't. And so um, three weeks later, he was able to get me into the classroom and I worked at the Continuation High School and I found my niche. I fell in love with what people may say, quote unquote, high risk or at risk students, but that is my niche of students. And so when um, I came over to the Comprehensive High School one year after teaching at Continuation for five and a half, Mr. Brown started this um, intervention program on campus, a school within a school, so that we won't send, the students are having so many problems that if we weren't there, they will be going uh, directly from the high school to the continuation. So we were like a stopgap to try to address their issues. And he selected teachers that um, he believed, well, number one, we didn't have a lot of referrals. We handled um, situations in our classes, and he believed that we would be positive forces um, for those students. And all of us wanted to be in that program to take up that challenge. Now, was there any one teacher in your past that kind of inspired you? Several, but one in particular is Miss Avila. Virginia Avila was. Um, the teacher that really touched my life. Every age group I had teachers that um, just left an impact all the way through college, even grad school. Um, but she made the biggest impact. She was the one that let me know that I can do things that I never thought I could do. Um, one, do a backward roll on a balance beam. You know, <laughs> and you know, where I thought I couldn't do it, you can do it. You know, just and sometimes the teacher has to have a faith in you that you don't have in yourself or see things in you that you don't see in yourself. And so she has been a, a very influential force in my life. And, and how do you try to pass that on to your students? The caring, the, um, the persistence, um, don't take their no for an answer. Um, don't take their lack of faith in themselves as an answer, but know the potential that is uh, resonating and residing in them, that they have what it takes, and then show them the way to do it. And so I take that away, and just the caring and the, um, the genuine love that you have to have for your students. And so that's what I, I take from her. What would you say to those people out there who are considering teaching as a career? Um, who, who uh, might need some encouragement that, to really consider what kind of a sales pitch would you give? I would tell them that teaching is a noble profession. It has always been a noble profession. And it's not an easy profession. That's why we say it's the art of teaching. But if you want to have an impact on people that are going to, it's going to go beyond your paycheck, and it's going to go beyond sometimes even generations, how you have passed on either um, concepts or, or knowledge or have impacted a person's belief in themselves. Teaching is the, the profession for you. It is a difficult profession. Um, it's not easy. But the love that you get back, the reward that you get back, even the um, being unappreciated. But when you are appreciated by those students, when they come back and, and let you know, and it's the ones you least expect, and say, you know, Miss Providence, you know, thank you. Or you see them around the city, you know, I have a family now, um, and that type of thing. Words can't describe it, nor money, but it has always been a noble profession, and if you want to make a change in people's lives, it's the profession for you. All right, well, thank you for joining us. We were speaking thank with you. Jeanette Providence, who is the Teacher of the Year for the Grant Joint Union High School District yes. for 2008. Thank you. Thank you.